What's up, bitches? Today, I'm gonna tell you to buy your co-workers a DS flashcard so they can play all the ROMs and you can play them with them and it's gonna just be cool. So, yeah, there's 150 million DS's out there and even more 3DS's, but really not that many more because the 3DS didn't sell that well. So, saw a co-worker the other day, they were playing Brain Challenge, which is sort of like Brain Age, but not might be better I don't, I don't know I've never played it but I was like okay you are the only other person in this office who brings their DS to work with them so by that merit I have to buy you a DS flashcard there's, there's like no getting around it so I mean look at how popular it used to be the the G touch generations oh man so wholesome games anyone can pick up and play yes I still play it every day not every day but a lot at least you know enough to carry it with me so that's that's what this whole straw poll things about what game should my co-worker play because I added 28 games to their flashcard uh, got him one of those clone cards one of the R4 golds which they're, they're not the best flashcards but they're the cheapest and they're the ones that I use because a lot of times you can use the uh, the retro game fan multi cart uh, kernel. That's what I prefer um, as the best compatibility. But you never know what you're gonna get with these. Like these are all like label just slapped on them. They can be anything, but there's some kind of R4. But yeah, you can buy them in bulk. Get them for under ten bucks. Um, probably get them in bulk a lot cheaper. Then you throw in like a 32 gigabyte SD card or lower and just start loading them up. Uh, but yeah, once you get the SD card, you're just wanna, you're gonna want to load a kernel on them. Like if uh, retro game fans doesn't work, you're gonna need to get one of those CD like regular kernels. And what you do is you just grab this, you drop it onto like the uh, the root directory of your SD card and you're set. Start putting on games. It's not like it used to be where you had to get like a program and add them. It's way easier. So uh, I'm just gonna go over all these games that I added to it. Uh, this is gonna be in the straw poll. If you want to vote on this, uh, just to see, you know, what games should they play? Like so many games out there. Um, a lot of people think that she should play Tetris DS and you know I mean Tetris DS is fine but this isn't this is a smart person you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that smart person they like the murder mysteries and the podcast and the and the technology you know because oh uh, DS is the best um so yeah added on art academy just in case they want to learn how to draw, do some sketches, that kind of thing, because why not? Added on uh, Big Brain Academy, because they, they kind of like those brain training games, so I was like, let's do it. And then Brain Age, because why not? It sold like 30 million copies or so, so everyone loves Brain Age. Look at those brains. That guy's going to die. Little brains. And then uh, Chess Master. I added that on there too. And this guy from Chess Master. I wouldn't play the game because of him. He has a little 420 right there. But <laughs> he might have had a little bit too much 420. Look at the face. I don't know. I can't make that face. Can you? And then I added Chrono Trigger on there because why not? Because Chrono Trigger is awesome. Um. Yeah, that was the piece, all that. But that, that was before that. This, this is like before that. So then Clubhouse Games. Um, and now I'm thinking with Clubhouse Games, I could probably play this in the office with them and maybe start like a, a ring of people who play Clubhouse Games in the office because you got your chess, you got your poker, you got a bunch of, uh, I think you have Richie Mahjong on there too, which is weird. A uh, real good game. This is the first game, one of the first games I played online. Like, I used to have friends on, like, AIM, and we'd, like, swap friend codes and stuff. 
And this is around the same time, like, Wi-Fi started getting, like, popular in, like, public places. So, Clubhouse games. I played this online on Nintendo servers while watching the B-movie in theaters. It was, it was a great experience. Always love Clubhouse games. Um, Elite Beat Agents, because it's the best game ever. Um, if she likes this rhythm game, then I'm going to get her, like, one done one and two and be like okay these are the Japanese elite beat agents and that's that's what got me in the Japanese um, fire emblem shadow dragon cuz why not I mean it's probably not gonna be played like I'm not not trying to be like a pusher with this or anything but like hey you have to play fire emblem how dare you I'm just like hey, you know, it's on there you know maybe after chrono trigger because I you know, got my, my preferences but Flash Focus, putting that on there because, I don't know, it's it's a eye training game, it may or may not work, um, it's gimmicky, but why not? Ghost Trick, absolute classic, a little puzzly adventure there, I like the true crime stuff. Well, it's not really true crime, it gets a little bit wacky. I'm gonna control this thing. Um, yeah, Hotel Dusk, this one I put on there... Uh, it's a visual novel. It's on my backlog. And so, now it is on someone else's backlog, too. Um, I feel like this is the game that everyone is like, Oh, yeah, I should totally play Hotel Dusk. And then no one does. Um, of course, Tingle's Balloon of... Uh, Tingle's Balloon of Love. Never. Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. Um, right end. Um, I just left that in there with the Japanese name. I got the translation patch on there. So, Irotsuki Tingo no Koi no Balloon Trip. So, it's going to stand out on the collection here. Um, best Wizard of Oz game out there. A really fun point and click. I feel like everyone should play it once. You know, just at least once. Um, Jam with the Band. I hope no one thinks I'm a furry for adding this on there, but jam with the band, man. Um, or as most people know it, uh, Daigasso Band Brothers DX. Because that's that's where most people played it, honestly. It took forever to come out in America. Yeah, it has karaoke. It has, like, the uh, trip, you know, regular rhythm game stuff. I mostly used it for karaoke. But yeah, most people just know it as Daigasso Band Brothers DX. And I do actually have a little bit of a project coming up here where I'm just going to copy all of these uh, BDX files. Uh, not copy, but convert them over to MIDI with some of the tools on here. Just going to have that as like a separate video, but got a lot of, um, you know, aughts, anime songs, that kind of thing. After Dark. All the good ones. Okay. Um, let's see. So, also added Curvy Superstar Ultra because it's a really good version of the SNES game. And it has local co-op. It's like super smooth. Uh, Load Runner. Because Load Runner is the best game ever and the DS version is great. I, I forgot to add the English patch to this one though. So, it's going to be a little bit weird, but... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not pushing for all these games to get played, but they're just kind of there. Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. Just adding RPGs to this thing, because, I don't know, this, this is a good game anyway, but it's kind of making it the, the RPG machine. My Japanese coach, in case they, they feel like being like, hey, I might want to learn Japanese, because someone forgot to translate, to, to add the translation patch. To load runner so there we go my Japanese coach actually not a terrible game uh, I wouldn't use it myself but it's I've heard it's decent I've only really used like Kakitori kun and stuff like that to practice my uh, my stroke order but okay uh, Phoenix Wright because you absolutely have to have Phoenix Wright why would I leave out the butts why Pokemon Soul Silver because it's Pokemon. This I feel like this is a good version. 
I could have done like black and white too, but I didn't. Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Um, everyone loves like narrative puzzle games. That's what they have on those uh, mobile games now. A Rhythm Heaven, which I really want to call Rhythm Heaven Gold, or just Rhythm Tengoku Gold, but just playing Rhythm Heaven for some reason. Really great game though. Like everyone who owns a DS probably already knows about it, but really great. Um, Sim City DS. Not so sure about this one. Like, I like the uh, the PC version. Never really played the uh, the DS version that much. Uh, but it's on there, and a lot of people have played it. So maybe she has um, Tetris DS, which is again the the most popular option um, for people who are like yeah that'll be the first thing you play on there. But yeah, all the extra game modes in this one make it great. Like, I don't know, I, I like the Metroid one. They're uh, just falling down and collecting pieces. It's great. Um, Zelda, Spirit Tracks, like, I don't know why I didn't go with, like, Phantom Hourglass, but I feel like this one's easier to get into if you've, lever like, literally never played a Zelda game before. Um, New York Times Crosswords, because crosswords and then uh, Tokimeki Memorial girl side first love plus um, kind of what left filled with this one a little bit a little bit left field you know maybe they want to play a dating sim you know like a, a it's not a be shoujo game it's more of like a be shonen game so you're playing as the girl you get little things like this it's nice that outfit really suits you. Thank you, Hazuki. I appreciate that compliment. I'm sure everyone playing will as well. And then Trauma Center. Under the knife. Because, you know, we've, we're already LARPing as, like, attorneys over here. Why not LARP as a surgeon? And you have the meanest comments in the world from your nurse in this one. But anyway, it's a really... It's a really good game. And then WarioWare touched, because why not? Um, I only wanted to include one WarioWare game in this this whole thing, like didn't want to load it too far. Uh so yeah, just uh grab this one. I still prefer like Twisted over Touch, like it's a way better game. But man. And yeah, if you guys have any ideas about what else I should add to it. Um, I do have a video coming up where I'm going to go over all the games I usually add over to uh, these systems. It's like a few hundred. Like, I've got a few versions of Daigasso Band Brothers loaded up with like their max amount of songs each. And then it's it just gets a little bit messy, so... Uh, to save some time, I'll just have that in a different video. But, appreciate you watching. And yes, you should buy the card. Just do it. Also, let me know if I should keep on saying hello, bitches. Because, I don't know, it feels out of character for me. But, if I'm the hello, bitches guy, just let me know. Um, you probably can't say bitches in the comments. Because YouTube's like auto mod gets really bad about it. And then I can't approve the comment and it just deletes. It's it's annoying. Anyway, yeah, let me let me know in the comments.